it's not right. against you. We just try to live. You don't. You benefit from racism. You don't even understand it. No, we don't. You do not see all these men just escort all the haters out of here? Did you not see that? Yeah, I'll be up there with you. It was my choice. Okay, well, go ahead then. You can do it. It's your choice. Just like I'm standing right here, you can make that choice. Walk your fucking ass on me. Come to my skin then. Because she's talking black for a day. If nobody around you is a doctor, yeah. if nobody has anything positive to say about a doctor, like if nobody has any type of medical background, like if it's not around you, then it doesn't seem possible. It's not tangible to you. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's really, really, really important to include those positive images in everybody. Energy, positive images, and affirmations is what, <coughs> that's something that all of our children can benefit from. Yeah, absolutely. Perspectives. And What's mainstream? I saw one, one meme of a skeleton and the words top of uh, the words on it were waiting for ways to show me that I I benefit from white privilege. Like you do benefit from it. And you don't understand that right. mainstream is, is white. Yeah. 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 The majority of the people that have the power and the control, that's mainstream. Mm -hmm. If you're if everything that you think of and everything that you like and dislike, if all of that is taken as a standard, then you therefore have become mainstream. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think in order for us to change things on a mainstream level, we have to have those allies who can be the gateway into those places. Mm -hmm. um, I think if you're talking to a white person who has um, racist, subconscious racist mm -hmm. tendencies or beliefs or perspectives or whatever, um, I think it's it means more and it has a greater impact if you have a white person saying, hold up, that's problematic, this is why it's problematic, let's work on it. Mm -hmm. Rather than having a black person saying, hold up, that's <laughs> problematic, this is why it's problematic, mm -hmm. let's work at it. <laughs> and even that alone is just, right. you know, why we have to do that? <laughs> and so, I just, I feel like... <sighs> so that Rachel... I was about to get there. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. I was about to go there. <laughs> See, that's the shit we got to worry about. <laughs> the thing of um, cultural appropriation. So, honestly, I feel like they stole the word from Africa. Because most people just don't wake up one day and say, hey, I'm going to call this person such and such, mm -hmm. just out of the blue. Mm -hmm. they had, that, that had to come from somebody. Mm -hmm. Like, we call each other bruh. That comes from brother. Like, mm -hmm. that, that's always been there. It makes perfectly good sense for that to have meant what it means in Africa, like things like a black king or something like yeah, that. Royalty. Right. It makes perfectly good sense in my mind for that to have meant that, and then you they took it and said, well, we're going to make it this. Yeah. You're ignorant. Right. You don't know anything. Yeah, You're right. worthless. You're a clown. Right. You know? I mean, I can imagine it how if we, because obviously the term, you know, Negus originated from Africa, so when the white man heard it, you know, they wanted to kind of, again, with that ownership, you know, ideal, uh, ideology, they wanted to kind of have that, um, take the word and kind of make it their own to make it to, de to degrade us really as a people. So I feel like, you know, what we do, what we do use it, it's a way of like, we're taking it back. Yeah, you know, you yeah. try to be cute, we go snatch it back now, that, that, that term was so nasty, but now it's like, we've made it beautiful again, because we use it for our brothers, you know, for our sisters, which is playful, but it's has a good, like, you know, welcoming energy. It does. So it when does you overstep well. your boundaries, but not, you have not, there's no way, you're white, so there's no way you could have experienced what we had to go through. Because right. you can't really take that pretend experience and try to throw the word, you can't, you literally do not have the right to do so at all, period. So for you to even try to be cute and argue, like, are you, are you being, you're being a child, because I'm trying to, <laughs> it's, it's just very insulting, like, just shout, just listen, this is, for, like you said, just let me your ear, let me explain how I feel about it, you know? That's why we get, the, that's why we got the reactions to growing up black, you know, things like that. Everything. That's what the KKK is. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to operate. They don't function right anymore. It's not logical yeah. what they're doing yeah. at all. That's why they always scream like, we're yeah. stealing this and that, no we're message. killing them, we're raping the women, we're taking this from them, they're we're taking that. Exactly, it's always that. culture is it's always everywhere. That. But my thing is, if your people <laughs> are taking our culture and appropriating it, it's becoming your culture, they're taking it from us again. We're not taking your, most black people that I know, even if you're Uncle Tom, you're still black. Yeah. Like, your, what we innately do as a people, that comes out no matter how much of an Uncle Tom that you really try to be. I mean, when you have white privilege, all you have to do is kind of work a little hard. Yeah, you don't you have to have the opportunities thrown away. Not even that. You, you don't have, have to, to step on someone, someone you have to, to be higher. higher. Yeah. <laughs> like, with so, black people, you can't tell us that we have to work hard and then you'll get there. Like, working hard 
does it, my, my working hard might be working at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. In black communities, there aren't a lot, bunch of resources. Black kids are nowhere near as enriched and cultured and cultivated as white kids are. Mm -hmm. They don't get to go to ballet and shit. Mm -hmm. They don't get to go out here and take classical piano lessons and shit. No plays. There's none of that. They're put in this box. Mm -hmm. They're allowed to have access to certain things and certain images. And so it stops there. Yeah. Right. And so if, like I said earlier, if a black kid never sees any doctors, they might not ever think to be a doctor. Right. Mm -hmm. That's like talents too. Yeah. Like if you're not exposed to what your talent could be, how do you, how do how you, do you know? Discover? Yeah. Right. So it's just like, yeah. like they're I'm a choosing theater what we're going to be yeah. in. They're right. choosing right. our place right. in society. So right. scary. Because they're not, we're not giving ourselves the resources, but at the same time, it's not. Big thing that really helped me. Um, there's actually a little thing that you can actually do with your hands. I'll just like make the demonstration quickly. Okay. Yeah. So what you do is like you place your hand. You can try if you okay. want. I mean, we'll see if it works for you guys. Okay. <laughs> so okay. It's, but it, I'll give you a warning. It's a timer. It takes a lot of brain power. You have to really be in the moment, and understand what you're doing. Okay. So you're. So you. I want you to take a picture of your hands and how far they are, so you know where they are, right? So you know where they are. Then you're gonna close your eyes, okay? Now you're gonna imagine that you're actually pushing your your hands together, but you're not actually doing it. And inside of your hands, you should feel this energy, like almost like a magnetic, you know, thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> actually like expand and then you can start feeling your own like bubble and then when you interact with people you feel that magnetic pull and stuff like that so that actual acknowledgement of it is really important that's what's like if you teach these kids to do that mm -hmm. oh it's not I'm, i have energy i know where it is this time. you have power yeah. directing it yeah so. um, it's beautiful so it's a good fun little practice yeah. like, surrounded by energy. i can tell you like you know um i think by me becoming more aware i'm i'm, I'm just more sensitive to a lot of things and one thing i'm really sensitive to is myself mm -hmm. of course um and so, you know, say I wake up in the morning and something ticks me off or whatever, I can feel my stomach tightening. You know, I can feel mm -hmm. my muscles tightening. And I recognize, okay, all right, <laughs> relax. You know, I'm feeling, <laughs> relax, <laughs> breathe, you know, because if I don't catch it, then I can go through my entire day giving negative yeah. energy. And that whole, um, the saying that people say, oh, don't bring your cloud over me, it really is possible. To transfer that energy to someone, oh, yeah. to transfer that negative energy um, to someone. So I just want people to know how to channel good energy, positive energy, um, and to just to reach inner peace. Um, one thing that I do is I just sit for a while and I close my eyes and just breathe and just listen to myself breathe. And you know, I notice that my heart rate will get to my heart rate will start to get slower. Okay, I'm relaxed, I feel comfortable, okay. And then think about what it is that I want to do for the day or what feeling I want to feel. Do I want to feel successful today? Okay, let me focus on success. You know, don't want to feel at peace today? Okay, let me focus on feeling sure. content and at peace, you know? Yeah. I want to introduce myself to y'all. I am Kayla St. Cloud. Yes, yes. This is my co-host, Red Bliss. I go by Red. I know some of y'all from Columbia, surrounding areas, so started in Columbia. This is our first event in Charlotte. I think we're going to have a really great time. I really fuck with Charlotte crowd. Columbia's crowd is dope. All right? We're about to mix because we're real close to each other. I know a lot of Columbia people come to Charlotte. This is what we're about to mix. Let me show you how Souls and Substance goes, okay? Souls and Substance is a little bit different. When artists perform, I need y'all to be quiet and I want y'all to come in. A lot of artists feed off of your energy and that's one of the key components of Souls and Substance, okay? You are about to see how it goes. We're about to have our first set of performances. Later, we'll have a cypher. We also have some artists live painting that are Thanks for joining us on our fourth episode of Social Consciousness. For more information on Souls and Substance, visit soulsandsubstance.com and also search us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Souls and Substance. Spelled just like this. See you next time. <laughs>
This is Dope Fob. Stay dope.